All right, so now we're going to talk about posts and pages. This is something that confuses a lot of people. And um, as far as SEO goes, the main thing you need to understand is there's not really much difference between posts and pages in my eyes. I've created websites that rank extremely well with posts, and I've created websites that rank extremely well with pages. Now, some of my websites, I do all posts. Some of my websites, I do all pages. Some of my websites, I do one post and then the rest pages. It really just depends what how I feel. I mean, there's no specific uh, formula. And it also depends on what type of site I'm building. So if I'm building more of a site that's like, you know, a site that just shows all the blog posts on the home page, like just shows each blog post, then I'll, I'll likely do posts because then just your posts appear on the home page as snippets, okay? And there's some themes they're called, uh, which we'll get into in just a little bit, that are kind of more built for posts just showing on the on the home page. So whether I build a post or a page really just depends on you know how I'm feeling and also what type of site I'm building. All right, but you're probably confused right now. I'm going to get into this a little bit and I'll kind of do some examples here. So now usually again there's a lot of plugin or there's a lot of themes in WordPress where when you create a post, it just shows up on your home page, right? So I'm gonna show you what I mean right now. So let's go to post and let's go to add new, okay? So now I'm gonna call this post welcome. I'm just gonna call it welcome. That's the name of my title, welcome. And in my contents, that's the title of this page. And you'll notice when I click down here, what does it set my, my URL as? completebeginnerworkshop.com slash welcome. Remember how we set that in settings permalinks. Let me set this up in the, in a, let me bring this up in a new window. Remember we set this a couple videos back where I click to set my post name as the URL and I click save, that's what this does. So when I type in my title, it automatically puts my title in the URL. Now we can still change this if I want. I could do, I could change this to like welcome, to my site, I mean that's a stupid URL to put there, but you can still change it. But the point is it automatically puts your title here and then if you wanna change it further, you can. It just makes it very easy, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this and not re-update it, all right? So that's what that permalinks does. It just automatically sets whatever you have here for here. And if you wanna further change it, you can, all right? But I usually just leave whatever's here, here, uh, except for certain cases, which don't worry about that right now. So we got my title is welcome, the URL is slash welcome. And then I'm gonna put my, you know, welcome to the complete beginner workshop. I am going to show you how to go from complete beginner to assassin SEO level. Enjoy, okay? That's just a dumb basic post and you guys know right now there's nothing showing on my site because I have no posts up, nothing found. So when we go and we click publish over here, um, this is gonna show up, okay? This is now gonna publish this post. All right, so now when we reload, here's my you know here's my title, welcome, and here's my content. Welcome to the Complete Beginner Workshop. I'm going to show you how to go from Complete Beginner to Assassin SEO level. Enjoy, okay? Written by Greg, has the date, has the category. We didn't choose a category, and you can leave a comment there, all right? So that's a post. Now, the main difference between post and pages is a page will not have an author, okay? It won't have a date usually and it won't have a category, all right? That's the main difference. And also the posts for a lot of themes just show up on the home page, okay? So if I do another post now, so let's go to post, let's go to add new. Oh, I'm just gonna call this, oh yeah. So now you'll see when I click down here, it's gonna name this page, oh dash yeah because that's the name of my title, oh yeah. Just takes the title and puts it in your URL, which is a good thing for us to do, okay? Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you. You're going to be a super ninja assassin at SEO. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and publish this one. 
And you'll see when I publish this post, again, it's going to put the post right on my home page. It's going to put the post right on my home page. Again, I might be cached where it's not showing up yet. Make sure, make sure it published. Yeah, it did publish. So let me go load my site in another browser. Oh, here it is. Okay, it showed up. So now, here's our second post. Here's our first post. You see, just our first post goes here. Our second post goes here. If we post another post, it will go above this one. So when you do post, it basically, for most themes, it just shows on your home page. Okay, and they'll keep lining up your post. And you can show 10 at a time. You can show five at a time. Uh, and you can show however many you want. There's a couple... There's some websites out there that show 100 posts, you know, where it just keeps on showing the snippets of the post. And if this was a longer post, it would usually, it, it cuts off and it'll say, like, you can read more. And there's certain themes that do that. There's certain themes that actually show the whole post, too. But the point is, with post, the difference is they usually show up on your home page, just like kind of as like blog snippets, so to speak. Um, and you also have an author name, a date, and a category, all right? Now if we go and we do a page, let's go to page, let's go to add new. So let's do one more thing. Let's call it one more thing. This is the page where I'm going to tell you one more thing. You're going dun, 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 to make a lot of money if you put in the work. Sure statement. All right, so now when I publish this, you're gonna notice that it does not publish the same way that my post publish, okay? Um, so when we reload this, it does not show on the home page. Okay, it doesn't show as a post on the home page. Now there's some themes that will actually show your pages right here for as links. This particular theme doesn't. Now I can show it somewhere, so this is kind of going down the rabbit hole a little more, but if you go to appearance and widgets, I can have my pages show up in my sidebar. Okay, so I just drag this over, drag over pages. I can do, you know, here's my pages and save it. So now when I reload this, you'll see if I scroll down here, here's my pages. One more thing. So to get to the one more thing page, I click on this link right here. All right, so the main difference is that Usually blog posts are meant to like kind of show as like, you know, they kind of more show on your home page where pages are more like links to inner page. And that's kind of the way I look at it. Maybe that's not the way it's supposed to be. That's kind of the way I treat it. So whether I do posts or pages just depends on what type of site I'm doing. If I'm doing a site that's more like a blog type look to it, I'll do more posts. And I'll do, you know, there's some sites where I have all posts. And then if I'm doing more of like a website type, you know, where I have just like a like a home page and a ton of inner pages, I'll do one blog post and the rest inner pages. And you can also do the same thing with all pages. And hopefully I'm not confusing you too much. All right. So we'll swing back around to make sure we have this covered. But hopefully you at least get the, the basics here where there's a lot of themes. I'm going to go into themes in the next video. You may have to rewatch this after watching the themes video. There's a lot of themes that just show posts like this. So they'll show, you know, post one, post one, post two, post three, post four, and they all show it on the home page. And then for the pages, they show those as links in your sidebar, okay? Where it's like they don't show on your home page, it's more like a, you know, you gotta click a link to get to it. So for example, like a disclaimer, a lot of the times is like a page, and like a terms of service is definitely always a page, or you don't want that showing like as content on the home page, you want people to have to click to get to it, okay? Again, it just depends on what type of site you're doing. So let's go do some searches here. So let's go to like uh, best dating sites. I just wanna look at the different type of sites here, okay? So let's go to CNET, okay? So CNET is a huge site, right? So here, they, really, this is probably a page for them. They, they probably don't, might not even use WordPress. You'll still get the point. This is their page on the best dating sites, right? 
So here's their page for best dating sites. But their home page, obviously, they're not going to have this post show on their home page because their home page is really themed around like product reviews and things like that. Okay. So it looks like what they do is they show some of like their top stories as snippets. And again, this is what different themes can do. Like, you know, you can pick different posts that you show on your home page and then you'll see that best dating sites page doesn't even show up as a link in here at all. It's just like an inner page that doesn't show up on the home page. All right, so posts I look at are, are more for like kind of being featured on the home page, at least at one point in time, where pages necess don't necessarily show up on the home page. Sometimes they show up as links depending on how big your site is, and sometimes they don't, okay? So let's go to a different site, a site that's more niched out. So let's go to maybe like this uh, top 10 best dating sites. All right, so it looks like these guys have, so here, here's a good example that might explain this better. So this site is themed around like a, a specific niche. So it's like they're talking about the, the top 10 best dating sites. So what they're doing is they have one page of content for their home page, right? So this is a case where you wouldn't do all posts like it wouldn't make sense to do all posts for this website because they would just show up on the home page and it doesn't make sense for this so this is the type of site where i would use one post and the rest pages or i'll just use all pages and then you can designate one page to be the home page so let me show you what i mean i'm gonna make sure you guys understand this because this is something a lot of people get confused and it's really not a big deal like if you don't understand it don't freak out because there's ways to change it and you you can actually convert pages to posts and post to pages if you ever need to. So don't freak out. As far as SEO goes, it's there's there's no difference that I've found really between pages and posts. Like there's no like advantage. So it doesn't really matter. It's more about like the look of your website, okay, and how you're gonna make your website look. So don't get too worried if you don't understand this yet because it's not a huge deal and you will figure it out okay this is one of the more confusing things that people have with wordpress so let's go back in here and let's go back to our dashboard all right so we now have we now have two posts and one page okay so as you can see if we come here our two posts show on the home page and then our page is over here okay as a link now, if we go back to this site, this dating site, again, this is the type of site that's like kind of like I look at like as a website where it's going to have a specific home page. It's not going to be a whole bunch of blog posts on the home page because that, that doesn't make sense for this, right? It's going to be one home page that talks about the best dating sites and then inner pages for each specific you know, category, okay? So the way you would do this again is you would either have one blog post and all pages. Okay, and the one blog post would be longer and it would talk about all the top 10 dating sites and that's what would show on your home page, this big long blog post, just like they've done, just one big piece of content, uh, just like that, and that's what shows on the home page. Or you could do a page, okay? Then the rest would be pages, all right? So let's go scenario one where we do one blog post and the rest pages, all right? So let me go back to our website. I'm just gonna create this scenario for you. Let's go to post. I'm actually going to delete these. Okay, so let's delete. And let's delete. And let's go to pages and let's delete that. Let's start fresh. Okay. And you'll notice when I delete all that, when I reload my site, it may take a few minutes, but everything is going to be gone. Nothing found, page is gone, nothing's there anymore. Okay. So we're starting fresh. So one way to create this type of site that you see right here would be one blog post and the rest pages. So everything else would be pages. So let's go head back over. And my post, which I'm adding right now, is basically gonna act as my home page, all right? So I can even call it home page if I want. And then right here is going to be all my home page content. There's gonna to be tons of it, right? Like, you know, it's, this is all gonna be good looking content. We're gonna be adding in pictures, making it look nice, have a ton of links. I'm just doing this so we have like a longer page uh, that you can you know, kind of visualize a little easier, okay? Let's go ahead and post this. 
right? So now this is published. So when we load this, all right, you see our home page. Just imagine this looks pretty, okay? You have a really long page. Let's just imagine it looked like this. You know, we had tables in here, which we could do with plugins, which we'll learn later. You know, we have some text here, some links, and you know, some bolding going on. I'll teach you how to do all that, don't worry. Just pretend this looks really good. So this would be our home page, okay? And that'd be our nice looking content right there. And then what we would do is everything else would be a page, okay? So I'd go to pages, go to add new, and this would be my maybe uh, so top ten dating sites. Let's do like eHarmony. All right, so this would be my eHarmony page. So this would be all info about eHarmony. Okay, so let's publish that. And then let's go to add new. And let's do another one, OkCupid, okay which is another dating service. Everything about OkCupid. Okay this would be everything. This would be the OkCupid okay page. And let's just do one more. So I would add a new. This would be my Plenty of Fish page, which is another dating service. Everything about Plenty of Fish. We we'll go here and publish, okay? So now you're gonna kinda get an idea of what I'm talking about. So this is the first way to do like this type of website. So let's reload it. So now we still have our home page there, okay? But here's our inner pages, okay? Here's the eHarmony page, here's the OkCupid okay page, here's the Plenty of Fish. Now it doesn't look like this because we have a, a very basic theme installed, which is basically the look of your website. I could install the type of theme they're using and have it look like this. And basically, my home page would be here, and it would move my page links to up here. Okay, and that's it would, it's the same thing. It's just my look is different because I'm using a different theme. Okay, it's not as pretty. It's it's a free theme, and it's just not as pretty. There's not much too too much pizzazz to this theme. It doesn't look very good. Okay, and the page links are in different are in different locations here where they're not as easy to click. And you know their page links are very pretty. They're up top. You know they have drop down menus, which are you know it's just very easy to do that type of stuff. Um, and they just their their site's very well structured because they have put more time into it. We've been we've been in here for ten minutes. Okay, so that's the difference. And that's one way to create your site. Um, the other way, so that that's one post for the home page and the rest pages. The other way is just do all pages. Okay, and I'll show you how to do that version now. So let's go to our post and let's go to this home page and let's delete. It. Okay. And there's really no difference between what I, what I just showed you and what I'm about to show you. These two ways of doing it, you can do either way. I just want you to be aware of both. Okay. So now when we reload our site, you're going to see nothing is found for the home page. Nothing there. Now our inner pages are still there, but there's nothing showing on our home page. There's no content there because I deleted that post which shows up on the home page. All right. So now if we want a page to show for our home page, we click add new for a new page. We can name a home page if we want, whatever we want to do. Okay, and then here would be all of our home page content. It'd be nice and long and pretty. We'd be adding links and bolding and images and videos and make it look really pretty. Okay, so let's go ahead and publish that. So now if we reload, it's still not going to show for the home page yet. Okay, it's still just a page that shows in our sidebar. So when I reload, it's going to show up over here as home page. Still nothing showing on the home page. We can change that by going to settings and reading. And then set a static page as the home page. And we can click the home page right here. Okay, so we select whatever page we want to select as the as the home page. We will obviously name this home page, we'll select that, save changes. And now what that will do is, is set a select page to be your home page. Okay, so now when we reload that home page, we just create as a page, create shows as the home page. And all of our other pages are still over here listed. Okay, so as far as design goes, there's no difference. Okay, you can either use one post for the home page and just do the rest pages, or you can do all pages and designate one of those pages as the home page. It's totally up to you what you want to do. 
Okay, but when I'm creating a site like this, I do one of those two ways. It doesn't, I have no preference. Sometimes I use all pages and designate a page as a home page. Sometimes I just do one post and that's my home page and everything else I do pages. Okay, but there is certain sites where I use all pages. So it's more like a snippet type blog site. But any type of site like this, you see right here where it's like, you know, where it's like a kind of more like a real website. I do one of those two things I just showed you. One post, the rest pages, or all pages, and designate the, the, a specific page as the home page. It doesn't matter which one, all right? So I'm trying to think if I can find a website that, so this is more, again, more of a website where I can use all posts. So if I'm doing a website like CNET, where it's like just like more like a blog type feel, um, that's where you can do a whole lot more uh, posts if you want. And maybe you do like a disclaimer for a page in terms of services page and a contact this page. But a lot of times, if you have more site that's more like a blog type feel, you're going to be doing a lot more post. Okay, because they kind of show up more on the home page. So hopefully that didn't confuse you too much. Um, most of the websites you do are going to be like this, um, where you, you're not going to be doing a whole bunch, bunch of posts probably. Uh, that won't be till later on. So likely you'll be doing one of the two ways I just showed you. It doesn't matter which one, okay? And even like I could do this. So I can go back and go to post. So let's say I, you know, I maybe I changed my mind or whatever the case is. So let's go back and welcome again. This this is a post. Remember, this time. Welcome back to my new home page. And if you want to set categories and all that, you can you know you can organize it where you put it in the categories. So you know, uh, put it in the SEO category. You can add tags. I don't really use this stuff that much. SEO, SEO training. You can do all that. Um, and then we publish. Now, when we publish this post, it's not going to show as our home page because we currently have a page designated as the home page, right? So when we reload now, this isn't going to show anywhere. Okay, our home page is still that page we designated. Okay, but there's a reason I'm showing you this. Now it shows up on a recent post because it's a post, but it doesn't show us the content for the home page. Because remember, we changed that. If we want to change it back, we can go to settings, or we can go to reading, and then we can do so. We can do one of two things. We can go to your latest post. So again, what we'll do is just show my post as snippets uh, for my home page. So when I click save and I reload, it's now going to show my post as my home page. Okay. So welcome back to my new home page. That's the post we just created. So the page I created before for the home page is not the home page anymore because it's not designated as the home page anymore. I took that off. Now I'm showing my blog post again. All right. Let me set it back to a static page. Go to the home page and save. And when we reload this again, that long page is going to show because I just designated that page to be the home page. Okay, so if you're starting to get the idea of this, all right. So the other way to do it to designate the the post is you can do a static page and select one of your posts. Or I'm sorry, that's the same thing. That that's the pages. I'm sorry. So one of the two ways, so you can select your post here where your post will show as the home page or a static page, whatever you want to do. All right. So right now, again, I have the static page selected. And if I want to go back to, a, to showing my blog post to the home page, I'll just click here and save. And then boom, my, well, my post shows on the home page again. Okay, and then you can also change how many posts show. So if you have a website that has like a hundred posts on it, uh, and you only want three to show at a time, you would change this to three. You would update it. Okay, and then instead of showing a you know a hundred posts as your which would go on forever, scrolling down forever, it would just show the latest three. Okay, and then it would have like buttons where you click over to go to the next page, search the next three or the next three. Usually the default setting is ten, where it'll show ten at a time. Okay. But again, it just depends on what um, what you're using. So one other thing I want to show you in this video is uh, Yoast SEO, which remember the plugin we installed in the plugins video called Yoast SEO? Well, I'm going to show you why I installed it. So let's go to welcome again. 
the the main reason I use Yoast, if we scroll down here, is this right here. Okay, when you click on that right there, which is your title, you have full control of your title right here. All right, and the problem is if you don't use this plugin, it automatically sets this as your title with the name of your website, I believe. Uh, I believe that's the default setting. With Yoast, you can fully control your title. Okay, and again, all I did was I clicked here and then just highlight here and delete, and then you can set your page title for whatever you want, okay? So it doesn't have to be the name of the page dash name of website. You can set it to whatever you want. Because a lot of times we don't even put the name of the website on a page. We, we make the most out of our titles, which you'll find out soon. So what's the name of this page? Welcome again. This one it wouldn't be very important for. Welcome again. Let's get this sucker going. Okay. So it wouldn't have been possible to kind of expand on this title so easily um, without this plugin in place. It just makes it very easy. Uh, so now having that in there, we can, you know, when we update, it will change our title to exactly that. All right, and that's the main reason I use Yoast SEO is to easily control titles. All right, so if we go to this page now, you'll see that that is the name of our page, or the title of our page, I'm sorry. And you'll see right up here, welcome again, let's get this sucker going, okay? So it's a kind of a better, um, you get a better idea of how useful it is on one of the pages here. So let's go to the eHarmony page. So by default, without that plugin, it would just set this the name of this uh, page to eHarmony dash Complete Beginner Workshop. Not a very good title. Like we're not making the most of our title with that. See how it's eHarmony dash Complete Beginner Workshop. Yoast SEO allows us to have full control of what we want to put in our title. Okay, very easily. So again, I just scroll down to the Yoast SEO section. I click right here. I delete everything that's right here and then I fully control my title. So what I really want to cover on this page is eHarmony review for 2019. Find out if, uh, let's, let's do, um, yeah, let's do find out if, if eHarmony is a scam, okay? So, Look at the difference in titles between these two. Now, remember, the title is a big identifying factor for Google figuring out what your, your site is about or what your page is about, okay? Before, what were they getting that our site was about? They were getting that it's about eHarmony and then a Complete Beginner Workshop. Not very identifiable, okay? It doesn't do a very good job of identifying what that page is about. Really, they know it's about eHarmony and that's very hard to rank for. Now here, I've identified a lot more, okay? I've identified it's an eHarmony review. It's an eHarmony review for 2019. Uh, we're figuring out, is eHarmony a scam? So there's a lot more keywords I have in my title that identify what this page is about. And remember, Google comes and reads data, okay? So if they just come and they read eHarmony Complete Beginner Guide, there's not much that I'm gonna rank for for that page because the title is very important. Whereas if they come and read this one, you know, for, for this one up here, I have a chance to rank for pretty much eHarmony. And ranking for eHarmony is gonna be extremely hard because it's a huge, huge, huge keyword, okay? If you type in eHarmony, eHarmony is gonna rank and mostly you know, huge, huge sites because that's a very, very big term. Whereas here, we have a lot more keywords involved and also a lot easier keywords to rank for involved, all right? We have eHarmony Review, we have eHarmony Review for 2019, we have eHarmony Scam, we have Is eHarmony a Scam? And I could also add in other stuff, you know? Um, so that should give you an idea of why we use Yoast SEO and how the Yoast SEO plugin works. So if I never installed the Yoast SEO plugin, this will help you uh, understand what a plugin is as well. This would not show up here, okay? This Yoast SEO box would not show up and there would be no way to control my title that easier. So that's that goes back to plugins of what they do. They're kind of added features to WordPress that make things easier on you, okay? And different plugins just do different things. And that's what this plugin does, is it makes SEO easier. Now there's other things that you can do um, 
with Yoast SEO, but I usually don't use it. Sometimes I will do edit snippet, and this is basically this thing right here, like the meta descripts, and that's what shows up in the search engines. Uh, I'll show you what that is, and I will use that too. But mainly I use it for the, um, for the titles. So the snippet is basically um, this section right here, okay? So if you don't fill this out, if you don't fill out this, this part right here, Google will automatically pull from your web page what they think your site's about. But if you use this right here, you can fill in, you can tell them exactly what your page is about. And you probably should use this. I've gotten in a bad habit of uh, not using it a ton and mainly using for titles, but you probably should get in the habit of using this as well. But other than that, I don't use it for SEO analysts. You know, I don't use it for any of this other features that have just for the title, and then I should be using it more for the meta description. Okay, and that's basically what shows up right here. You know, what shows up right here, and then what shows up right here. Okay, what shows up right here, which is the other important part, of course, is right here. All right, and that's why we change this the permalinks right there so that can all kind of correlate together all right so hopefully this did not go over your head too much um, don't worry too much about should I create a post should I create a page because you can always change it later you can always designate a page as the home page so for many of you, you're probably better off doing mostly pages or even doing all pages and designating one page as the home page because most of, you are going to, most of you are going to be doing those type of sites. If you ever need to convert a page to a post, there's a plugin that actually can, can do that for you. All right, It's called P2P uh, Converter, I believe, and it can convert post to pages or pages to post. But I think for you guys, the best option would be just do all pages. I think that might be the easiest way for most of you to go is just do all pages. Then, you know, uh, so let's just go to our post here. So then you don't even gotta worry about posts. You can just do you can just deal with your pages. Okay, so all your pages would be in here. Now whichever of those you want to be the home page, you would just go to your settings and go to reading. And then you designate the static page as the home page, whatever you want, whichever one you want. This one obviously it's home page. And save and that's just an easy way for beginners to not have to worry about the whole post page thing it's a big thing beginners get caught up on that's not a big deal it more has to do with the look of your website and how your website's going to end up looking rather than SEO okay so that's the important part you need to understand so my recommendation most of you just stick the pages and just do it this way uh, that will be a lot easier to work uh, until you kind of you know get a little farther down in your in your SEO or your you know online marketing career okay so that helps you understand pages and posts and the differences in how to use them. Next, we're gonna cover themes. And themes is how we start making our website look better. Because right now, and this is a pretty ugly theme, it doesn't look very good. We're gonna make it look a little prettier and it's gonna be very easy. And it's not gonna look quite like this one right here. Uh, where were we? It's not gonna look quite like this because you know they've, They've put more time into it, uh, but we're going to make this, th this website look a whole lot better. So I'll see you all in the next video.